Right, question 16. You were told that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle and ABC is equal to ACB. So these are our base angles down here. And you're told that P and Q are points on A and B and AC respectively such that AP and AQ are equal to each other. You have to prove that the triangle ABQ is congruent to the triangle ACB. P. So congruent means exactly the same size and exactly the same shape. Okay, well, because it's an isosceles triangle, the first thing we can say is that AB is equal to AC. Uh, you need to explain every step, so you need to put in your uh, isosceles triangles. have two equal sides. Okay, then you're told that P and Q, or AP is equal to AQ, which we'll need in a minute, uh, and also that the angle BAQ, so BAQ, that angle there, is equal to the angle PAC. So what that means is we've got a common angle So because we've got a common angle, it means we've got two sides with the same length and a common angle, which is the same. So by the side angle side rule, that means that those two triangles are congruent. So two equal sides and common angle means triangle ABQ and ACP are congruent. 